in America, you are not God. I know this is hard for you, but you are not God. And I realize this is difficult for you, but I just want to say, you are not God. You might be a parent to a child, but you are not God, and you need to recognize that you are not God. In your business opportunity, you are not God. You are building a volunteer organization. In your company, you are not God. You're a supervisor or manager, and therefore you are leading a group of people. But you are not God. The reality is many people, even the president or vice president of America, would like to think that they have rights of God. Because, let's face it, they've got a lot of leadership responsibility, and they've got a lot of leadership rights in administration. But the truth of America is there is a God. We talk about it on our dollar bills of one God indivisible, or something like that, in our Constitution. And what I'm not doing is making fun of you. What I'm reminding you of is who you are God above. You are only a God over you. You have the right to your own life. You have the right to your own personhood. You have the right to your own paperwork. You have the right to your own property or possessions. And truthfully, you have the right to your own placement to a point in society. But in terms of procedures that you are required to follow in your company of employment, you are not God. Someone else was probably a higher-up leader or executive that wrote them or investigated them or researched or developed them, and therefore you must learn to follow procedures. What I often talk about in marketing is that creating standard operating, standard operating procedures or SOPs like we talk about in, in, mark, in manufacturing is the easiest way to make sure that you are always delivering quality service every single time to every potential guest to your company and every potential customer who's paying your salary. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about America and America has a God, but you are not God.